Dr. McDowell, that is my twin sister. She is a board certified pediatrician. She is very committed to her patient population. She starts at age zero to age 21. Dr. McDonald is my best friend. She's my colleague. We did all of our schooling together through medical school. Dr. Warlaw is a family medicine physician. She takes care of multi-generational families, so she takes care of the child, the mother, the grandmother, the great-grandmother. She is dedicated to her patients, and outside of that, she is absolutely a great sister. We grew up in underserved communities, so I think it's important to make sure that these communities get quality health care on a consistent basis. We got our shots. You got your shots, Ms. Geraldine. <laughs> so yes, sad. yes, yes, Ms. Geraldine. What made you decide to get your vaccine, Ms. Geraldine? Uh, well, I mean, you encouraged me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's talk COVID. Have you had your COVID vaccine? No. Are you considering it? No. <laughs> What's your concern? African Americans carry a heavy burden of many diseases. Diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer. I try to remind my patients that this vaccine is here. It's available. It is safe. The benefits far outweigh the risk. Mr. Stan. How are you, Doc? I'm well, Mr. Stan. I'm glad you're here. So, Mr. Stan. Did we get our vaccine? I did. And you had something to do with it. I did. So, Mr. Stan, what prompted you to get the vaccine? Last year, I wouldn't have taken it. Well, we, we, we've been working on that, right? And you worked on me. You got me to take the flu shot. Yes, sir. Yes. It took you two or three years to talk me into it. You also have to deal with some of the historical implications of mistreatment of the African-American community with the medical establishment. And even today, African-Americans sometimes do not get the quality of care that they deserve. Um, sometimes they're not heard when they go to the doctor's office. Sometimes they feel like their questions are not being answered and they feel marginalized a lot of times. I got a problem with my ears, I think. Well, let's check them. Communication is my most effective tool. So you do have, well, it's not a lot of wax. I want my patients to realize also that I want them to ask questions because it's my job to provide you with information in a manner that you understand. All right, guys. All right, any recent ER visits, travel, COVID exposure for any of these guys? No, okay. thank God. And tell me your thoughts on the COVID vaccine, Ma. I'm a little hesitant, mm -hmm. only because I don't know what that's going to do to my kids' fraternity. Great question. That's been um, an area of misinformation that's put out there. So with the COVID vaccine does not affect any fertility because people do If you trust me as your physician and you trust that I care about you and your child, then you're more likely to listen. And I will tell you, so my 16 year old is due to get his. He's going to get his. Okay. That was like my main concern. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because you want grandbabies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and so you received the, the Pfizer vaccine. Yeah. I received the same vaccine. La, la lesione. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Pregnant women are able to get the vaccine. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Trusted messages, my sister and I, we provide culturally sensitive, accurate medical information to patients. Quality care should be available to everyone. So if I was to get the COVID vaccine, can I work that same day? So many people can work. You know, some people don't have any side effects. Some people have mild side oh, effects. Okay. We're getting our vaccines not only to protect ourselves, but to protect our children, our parents, our grandparents, our teachers, our friends. We are doing this to protect our entire community.